Um, this video, um, I want to show you guys um, how the tomatoes are still kicking in the greenhouse. And I want to mention uh, thanks to Eric White uh, for giving me food for thought about plants and the hardiness of plants. And he's absolutely right. Uh, they have had to learn, the tomato plants and the pepper plants, they've had to learn to try to survive under a different condition than what uh, God intended them to have. And in a greenhouse, it's a different setting. And so my take on the uh, tomato plants is um, this is God's plan of, um, of survival for the plants under stressful conditions. And what they do is they just simply, um, the leaves die a lot of the leaves die in order for the plant to survive. Now, strangely, the plant, in spite of all of these, um, all of these dead leaves that uh, come off pretty easy, uh, here is tomatoes, beautiful tomatoes, and oh, they're just absolutely delicious. And so I just find this kind of interesting, not kind of interesting, really interesting, um, the way plants uh, have this survival skill. Now look how thick that these uh, stems are uh, on the plant, and they're planes still living and producing. And the same with the pepper plant. The bugs got on the pepper plants, and they ate holes in them, and uh, I did have, some of them was just so bad that I just pruned them and put them outside just to give them a break uh, from having to deal with inside the greenhouse. But amazingly, after all this time now, the peppers are producing in the greenhouse. Uh, and they seem to be less uh, stressed. So uh, the leaves get the holes in it. The the um, uh, the pests come eat the eat the leaves that maybe there's too many leaves on the peppers being in the greenhouse. Um, so they need all the leaves to shade the um, pepper outside but it's kind of it's a different ecosystem inside so they're stressed they have too many um, leaves to deal with to be able to survive so the critters come eat some of the leaves or the leaves die off um, like they're doing on the tomato plants so, I, it's, it's just amazing the way nature is. And so we can start spraying and doing this and that and the other, but my husband and I have had many a fight over um, using chemicals. He wants to use this something to kill snails. And I say, forget about it and um, not go that route. Uh, it seems like a simple solution is uh, all these beds over here that had the snails in it, let it dry out um, with the exception of these and I can always take those um, um, the kale outside there. Uh, but um, here again these these pepper plants they're starting to be able to adapt to a different environment and they're looking better. So, um, and even these all on down here, uh, they see, it seems to be a less of an issue. And then the ones that have these chewed up areas, I'm just going to cut these leaves off and I'm just going to see and, 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 you know, take some of these leaves off and so that there'll be less stress on the plant. And there's a pepper, a beautiful pepper on there. Uh, in spite of the of the leaves being chewed. So, I think that if we focus less on uh, pesticides and herbicides and all this, and just accept the fact that there's going to be critters, and there's going to be stress on the plants if they're inside the greenhouse and outside, 
and you you learn to adapt and and pay attention to the plants needs and I say the plants needs are some of the leaves need to go that, that just doesn't need all these leaves in the greenhouse so guys sorry I rambled see you next time